Queensland graziers near Rockhampton and Townsville have won a major battle with Canberra to stay on their land. They've been given their marching orders for the expansion of nearby military training grounds. But the Turnbull government now admits it made a mistake. Lauren Day has more. The war between graziers and soldiers over compulsory land acquisitions has ended with victory for people power. A property will be not purchased against your wishes. Before Christmas, 46 landowners were sent letters detailing the Defence Force land grab at Shoalwater Bay and Townsville after Prime Minister Turnbull's secret deal with Singapore to expand military training grounds. Never passed the pub test. To do that for the Singaporean army to have land to drive around upon just never made sense. Hundreds protested, <laughs> forcing politicians to back down. And farmers right across Australia are breathing a sigh of relief uh, from the announcement. It uh, is extremely welcome. The Palaszczuk government welcomed the news and in a state election year, Tim Nichols was relieved with Canberra's change of heart. And that's a great result. I'm grateful the PM listened to what we said. It will also help federal MPs save face in the electorate. This will certainly make our farming community very, very happy. If you don't want to sell, that's fine. Just keep doing, your, doing what you do well. The government claims reports Singapore was purchasing the land was false news. No, it wasn't. This is complete BS. A new master plan will be completed within a month, using alternative areas as training grounds. Most importantly, it will continue without the uh, pursuit of forced sales. Keeping Australia's premier grazing land in safe hands. Lauren Day, 10 Eyewitness News.